Where can I find these captives? As far as I know, the Thrall Hunters were hired by a slave trader named Dayunk. A hideous demon early lacking in morals. I'm sure you'll find him at the flash markets, gleefully counting the coins from selling his chattel. Why don't you buy their freedom yourself? The man sighs and throws up his hands. Alas, I simply cannot afford such an expense. My meager income is spent on buying the freedom of these poor souls. When demons see an awesome our customer, they raise the price and conspire to keep me from purchasing an anyone. In their eyes, the glee of thwarting me is worth the lost profits. It would be much easier for you. Tieflings are a common sight in the abyss. Demons are incapable of familiar feeling. But many keep entire generations of their mortal-born descendants in their service. That is why no one would be surprised by your desire to bite these Asimar slaves. Anyone would assume you intended them to be an offering to a powerful demon whom you wish to serve. Hmm. So what did they bring them to the abyss? It pains me to say this, but I can think of only two options, and both are equally terrible. Perhaps they will be sold to the Ten Thousand Delights, a filthy warhouse whorehouse where corrupt souls indulge in the most immoral and vulgar of pleasures, and the op other option is even worse. I've heard Shamira, the mistress of Alushinra, is a former celestial from the upper plains who once served the Everlight. This partly explains Shamira's irrational hatred of the Asimars. They say she buys my kinsfolk and takes them to her harem of ardent dreams, where she tortures them without mercy. Then she dines on their flesh. Monster. Ooh, I'm placing my trust in you. The lives of these unfortunate young women are in your hands. I could use a little help myself. Oh, he actually gave me a potion. Oh, he's so cute. I fear there's little I can do to help, but please accept this gift. You have a martial look about you, and I have no doubt I'll make you make good use of it. Oh, thank you so much, mister. I have a few questions, though. Do not doubt this. You could hardly ever expect to meet a member of my race in the Abyss. Besides, the very nature of my calling, which is dictated by both altruism and compassion, must seem strange and unnatural in this place. I'm used to questions and will gladly provide whatever answers I can. Oh. How do you survive in this place? It isn't easy. My ancestry alone enrages demons and make them want to try to do me harm. There have been numerous attempts on my life, and they have often tried to destroy the house where I shelter my wards. Noctifula's strict ban on harming visitors from other planes may protect me from the claws and blades of my malevolent neighbors, but it is powerless to keep them from spiting at my feet scrawling profanities on the walls of my house or endlessly plotting against me hmm, what are you doing here i had a revelation sent by the merciful siren ray i realized i must descend to this grim place and bear witness to its countless terrors so that i might aid those in distress when i first visited the flash markets i saw young women my kin locked up in cages they had been abducted from a different plane and put up for sale like goods or livestock. So, I immediately purchased their freedom and brought them here. I've been freeing Asimar women who end up in Alushingra ever since. I wish I could do more. This place is teeming with tormented souls, but alas, there is a limit to my abilities, not to mention my financial means. Why do you help only women? Because they are weaker. Their refinement, innocence and beauty makes them an attractive target for derision and torment. At least a man can go down fighting when this his patience runs out. Most of these young women I met were denied the final escape from the horror due to physical or spiritual weakness. I wish my Lady Yomade could hear these words. These mortals must be kind. This mortal must be kind-hearted, yet blinded if he perceives 
spiritual weakness in those who often accomplish feats, both great and small, without a word, a sword in their hands, with nothing except passion and dedication. So, you ask a woman to help you and immediately add that we are physically and spiritually weak? Oh, don't get angry, I beg you. I was talking only about those these poor souls at the flash markets. I know very well what kind of merchandise the demons drag here. They choose innocent, fragile ones. Those who can stand up for themselves are killed on the spot. Hmm, what happened to your wards? They survived truly monstrous abuses. The demons showed no mercy, subjecting these unsullied flowers to abuse and torture. Disgusted by their beauty and purity, the brutes trampled their innocence into the dirt. I tend to their physical wounds, but their hearts bleed still. They have to withdraw into themselves. Do not speak, not even to me. I hope one day I'll be able to return them to some semblance of a normal life and send them home. Okay. Um, have to go. And so they left. There is something up here, though. We can actually go to his house. Wait, what is that? The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Oh, it's the thing on the other side that shows up here. Okay, gotcha. I wonder if I can come up here. Hmm. Apparently I can only reach this place. From this side. Okay, let's enter his house. Let's see. Actually, plenty of loot in here. I'm sorry, dude. You're not paying me, so I'm just gonna loot your entire house. What's in wait for me there? You can actually rest here, huh? Okay. Doesn't seem like he allows me to go anywhere. I don't see any places to go. The chat, how are you doing? By the way, Jarvis, when do you have to go? Please have mercy, we can't do no more. Dude, can you stop that? Oh, oh I see something. Oh, I'm totally fighting these dudes. Totally. Can I go down? Okay, so these go up. These go like this. There's a trap here. I see a trap. Oh, I need to go now. Okay. I mean, I'll be here when you come back. I think. I only hope that there's not a trap in here. But there is definitely one over there. Oh, there's something up here. I wonder. Okay, let's save. Let's always put the rogue ahead. Oh, there you go. Hey, I told you. There is something here. I see citizens and commoners. Another optional boss, I wonder. Okay, 
way, the other trap I was mentioning. Did you see that? Oh, okay. Embrace me. So I see three citizens and then a closet that keeps trying to get them. Oh, hello. Can I go down? Let's just go down. I see, I see daggers here. They were here. Maybe they're on the other side. Do you guys see this? There, there's something here. Here. Wait, I need to see this. I'm gonna save and see if I can loot them. Let's save. It could be an amazing dagger and I need new weapons. We'll make things right. We will. What? I can't? So it's on this side then? How do I grab them? Doesn't seem like they show up on every angle. There is something to loot here. Oh! Oh! I got it. Oh, I got it. Here. Another one of those. Very interesting. Okay, alright. I'm sorry guys, I work as QA. I am <laughs> used to grabbing stuff that I'm trying to break. But anyway, we do what we can. With the tools provided. Uh, all of my party is here. Tila, you go ahead. This looks like such a trap. Like, oh, it's a pathetic closet. But in truth, it isn't. We will win this war. No reason to pause. Go away, you will disrupt the ritual. I didn't kill my master and spend the next hundred years deciphering this grimoire for only of, of you for ruin to ruin everything. How did you kill your master? I will help where I can. For you to get lost, do you think I won't turn in you into a smoking stain on the ground just because I'm only a quasit? This is this is a meme. This is probably just a meme boss. Super strong, like super shall everything. Move? We shall move. Oh, I can totally see. I can totally see him destroying me. Please, allow me. This war must end. Okay, guys, get ready save. I'm gonna get destroyed by this thing, just so you know. Rely on me. Okay, I'm touching him for the third time. There we go. <laughs> level 20 sorcerer, level 3 outsider. Alright, fast healing. He has a bunch of things. Permanent. Size tiny... 30 dex, which is a problem. 34 int. Resistant to a bunch of stuff. Immunity to death and drain, which is bad. Doesn't hit a lot. Mm. What are the powerful spells he can do? Okay, so he has true scene. Basic mage stuff. Cleave. Flashing rock. I still don't see anything that's too dangerous. Greater spell pen, but what are the spells? Magic missile? Okay, pathetic closet. Uh, something tells me I'm gonna, gonna be destroyed by a pathetic closet. Oh, that's because he's not alone. I see. I, I see. <laughs> of course, he's not alone. I'm such a fool. 
Okay. But I don't see much still. I don't see much. Not yet. Not just yet. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, the waiting's never fun. I know, right? Okay. Now we can do this. Okay, everyone on him. Amelia, you're on this one. I am on this one. So they're gonna be casting an evasion. I still want everyone over there. He's casting something that I don't know. I'll cut you wide open. The world in crimson. Death stealing glaze. We got exhausted, permanently exhausted. Oh, that is that waves of fatigue. But stronger, very likely. Oh God, that's really bad. That means I'm not gonna be able to move as freely as I want to. Amelia use her buff, she did. The spirits it's fine. demand your blood. <laughs> oh, I am almost down. It's fine. Wait, it's not fine. <gasps> Whale of the Banshee. Oh no. Okay, I died, and that thing just dealt 200 damage to me? To everyone around me. Why did it reach. Wait. So it's 200 unholy damage. So he killed all of his friends. Sila overking that? Mm. Yeah, it's a fortitude. Oh, it's a fortitude roll. And we rolled pretty well. 33 DC. Whoever fails takes 200 damage. <laughs> I have minus 230 HP. <laughs> Great. Okay, so basically I have to just stay behind until he casts that. I could use some good hope. I could definitely use some good hope buff. Another fortitude buffs. A lot of fortitude buffs, pretty much. Because the Nabazus are gonna are gonna lose it. A bright future oh, awaits. The pleasantries. Lead on. Sila. Good job. Let's see. Down. 
I don't have uh, AoE heroism. Okay. Hmm. Do I have true seeing? Okay, all right. Just for one round. I heed the voice of the spirits. This thing is, yeah. The struggles never cease. In a most the song of dawn. I will be spending my stuff. It is okay. Okay. Let's Rely see if we can do this. Me. I think most of us are just gonna die anyway, but it's fine. Maybe I can just cast slow on him. No reason to pause. Let's save. And let's talk to him. We are the light. They Burn. are the darkness. Slice. Uh, behead. I'll cut you wide open. Who has slow? Someone else had slow. You shouldn't have bothered me. I was the familiar to the three strongest battle mages in the abyss, and I killed them all after I mastered their secrets. It's fine. So he did wail of them, Banshee. Let's see who dies. <laughs> well, me and... And Camellia. I cannot save both of them. I need a single person to... To not fail. Oh, it even killed people behind him. It killed other people around. Let's see. Thirty-three check on fortitude. I have thirteen, fourteen, six on me. Which is why I always die. Thirteen, ten, and twenty. Mm. Oh, by the way, what is this? Belt of the Venerated Champion. Plus six con. Plus two fortitude, fortitude saving throws. Nice. Are you wearing? Con and Dex. I think I need a Dex for something. Let's just retry this. I want to have that belt. <sighs> it really is a tough fight for the Fortitude thing. But I have a trick. So one of my my friends have uh, here. We'll be putting this here, this here, and I'm gonna be using this for fortitude if I can. Oh no, it's just skill. Oh, it's skill only. Oh, it hurts. 
Maybe I can use this. Hmm. You're gonna have to use the belt on me. Yeah, 1342 now. But less, much less dex. It's okay. At least I have a chance to roll better now. I heed the voice of the spirit. I will help where I can. Let's use saving throws. That is skill check. This is saving throw. Okay, so that's correct. Talk to it. I won't let you hurt my friends. Much cannot escape. Uh oh. Okay, so we are at the point of saving this again. There is healing everyone. Will we die or will we survive? Okay, okay. So, oh no, we have two down. We have two. Okay, but they're down by not so much, so I can save them. What are you doing again? Dealing damage to the people who are still alive. Come on. <gasps> the spell failed. No, no, please no. Assist me at once. I am trying, boy. <laughs> this goddamn Nabazu. Because Camellia died. Oh god damn it. Because Camellia died, uh, that Nabazu went straight for her. Ugh. I can do this. This is not a bad fight. This is just rolls. This is not a bad fight at all. Mm -hmm. I need to save those people. No reason to pause. Let's have some fun. Hold monster on you. I think it failed. I rolled 11. I am 31 check. Let's try again. The world in crimson. Here we go. Um, did it not work? Twenty eight now. Everyone died this time around. It was. All three of us. <laughs> oh. It's a pretty high check for a fortitude check. Either do this or you take 200 damage. Mm. I'll be trying to get hold monster on Ember. Only. <laughs> 